from the NYDA Moscow. Are you here? Moscow from the NYDA. Are you here, my brother? Are you here? Moscow, is that you? Is it you, my brother? Eh? Oh, yes. Okay, because why am I like a show? Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's put our hands together for Moscow from the National Youth Development Agency. Come on, Tarim Shapeleng Matoho. Tarim Shapeleng Matoho, let's show some love, my brother. Thank you very much, uh, Program Director. Uh, I was hoping I would speak when the, there was low shading, so they can hear me. Yeah. Uh, uh, my name is Moskou Maepa. Uh, I am from the National Youth Development Agency. Um, I'm not going to take a lot of your time. Uh, I know or some of you guys already know me uh, or know the agency. Uh, so I'm just going to touch briefly on some of the current programs that we are having that specifically speak to what we are doing here today, specifically speak to networking and specifically speak to the province. So remember, uh, NYD as an agency of youth in government, we have tailored some of our programs to speak directly to SMMEs and challenges SMEs are having in the province. So I think number one, maybe just to start with, everything that I'm about to say or everything that I'm about to present to you guys. It's free of charge. You don't have to pay for anything. And it's tailored for youth SMMEs. Remember, in the province, for example, 34% of uh, society is young people. So whenever we are speaking about youth development, we are speaking about a very broad aspect of young people. So some of the SMMEs in the province that we are having are mainly based in one of the three factor, uh, or three uh, institutions. One is agriculture, two is manufacturing, and three is a retail. With the studies that we have, that's what was given to us as NYD. So these are the key areas young people are interested in. Uh, unlike Wachauteng and so forth, where you have things like entertainment and so forth, Elim Pop is not as, as big as it would be in Houteng and so forth. In KZN, you also have things like your marine uh, economies and so we don't have a beach or anything in, in, in uh, Limpopo. So most of our uh, tailored programs speak to agriculture and so forth. So part of the programs that we have, our flagship program, which is a grant program, we went ahead and said, we don't want to just give money to young people. So part of the programs that we're having, we've partnered with something called Land Bank. I spoke to a farmer earlier on who's, who's part of you guys who wanted to have a, 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 a fencing and so forth. So I told him to come and meet us at the, at the office. We partnered with Land Bank. Land Bank said to us, listen, if you guys give young people funding, we are willing to match it. We've opened the program. It's been uh, running for a year and a half now. Sadly enough, some of the uh, applications that we've been getting are very limited. We've been saying that these opportunities, especially for young people, if you don't take them, there's nothing we're going to do. We have to return back the money. Last financial year, we only had, I think, 10 applications in the whole province. I think this program is up to a million rands. We take out 500,000 and the land bank took out 500,000. We said this funding is only for farmers in Limpopo. Still, we are, we are, we are going to open it again this year. I financially just started now in April, so we're going to open it again. On top of that, we have went further to say, provincial government, what are you doing to support SMMEs? We have benchmarked with KZN and Bumalanga. Bumalanga has uh, 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 put aside 400 million for youth SMMEs. Same with uh, KZN. So we said to the provincial government, what is it that you, that you can do to assist youth SMMEs? The DG said to us, that, listen guys, now I don't have money. 
But what I can do, I can give you 30 million rands. So the DG gave us 30 million rands for the space of the next uh, three financial years. We went to our CEO, CEO said, I will match it. So we also have uh, funding put aside only for the province. Applications were open. They closed last month. So, <laughs> so we went back and said, listen, can the application continue to be open until at least end of June? Yeah. So the application, as I speak to you, they're open right now. Yeah. We launched it in March. It's called the Limpopo Youth Fund. Yeah. So you can just simply go to, on our website, something called ERP. You go there, and then you just click on Limpopo Youth Fund. This is the fund only for young people in Limpopo. Last time I checked, I think the majority of applications came from Vembed district. So I don't know, maybe young people in Capricorn are, are fine. So, okay, <laughs> you're not fine, eh? The, the, yeah, the application is there for you guys. So, on top of that, what we have done, we've also partnered with, uh, oh, am I, oh, I have two minutes left. Ne? Yeah, I have two minutes. No, I'll be done. Uh, UIF, you know UIF, ne? I, I, the program director asked if some of you guys have employees. I hope they are paying UIF. So what UIF has done, said to us, listen, we also need to assist. So UIF has given us a lot of money. Uh, I think they've given us some close to uh, uh, 800 million nationally. They, they are there to fund the SMMEs that have young people that are paying UIF. So if you know that you are, have employees that are paying UIF, Come to us, there's opportunity there for you guys to access that money. Applications are still open. Remember, with young people, uh, COVID-19 was not the only pandemic that affected young people, program director. Uh, we have a second pandemic that is ravaging throughout our communities, which is called laziness. So young people, majority of them, when they get hit by this laziness, they can't feel it. It just happens. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy that today I'm with young people that got the vaccine for that pandemic of laziness. They are here to receive information. They are here to, re to receive the correct things and interact. So on top of that, when coming to networking, we have something called market linkages. So what we do as NYD, remember we interact with different businesses. We know, for example, that Richard is selling, one minute left there, Richard is selling water and uh, like he has a catering company. We, through market linkage, we link the two together and through mentorship programs, free of charge. Mind you, we pay the mentors. So if you don't take the opportunities, it's up to you guys. So our offices are here in, uh, in town, it's not far. I, last time I checked, taxi was, was it 30 rand, ne? 26, you all okay, yeah, 26. So if uh, you have 26 rand, come to town. By the way, we have free water there. So you can come and drink, we have a generator also. You can charge your phone. So come through free internet, interact with us, opportunities that are there, then we'll take it fair. Thank you very much for your time, ladies and gentlemen.